you apply to 150, 200 jobs, you get rejected, you get ghosted. Welcome to the entry-level cybersecurity job market. Okay, so all jokes aside, navigating the entry-level cybersecurity job market and cybersecurity jobs in general in 2023 has not been easy. With the over-sensationalized but very true tech layoffs, layoffs in general, and the barriers to entry to get into cybersecurity, it's just been really hard for fresh graduates and aspiring cybersecurity professionals to get some sort of position. Now, why is this and what can you do about this to maybe perhaps increase your chances moving forward? Because there certainly are positions out there in cybersecurity that you can land with the right attitude and persistence. So starting out, cybersecurity entry-level jobs, they're hard. Why is this? There's multiple different reasons. And it creates this odd dilemma where you have a lot of people telling you different things with why cybersecurity is an entry level, or perhaps maybe it is. And ultimately, here is my perspective. Number one is that experience. For somebody to get into a position from an entry level perspective, they have to not only learn internal tools, processes, technologies specific to the business, but they also have to be trained perhaps one-on-one, -on -one, have mentorship, and really trained to understand how to approach cybersecurity from a business perspective, both using their soft skills and their hard skills. It just comes down to experience. We've all heard of the cybersecurity skills shortage gaps, and perhaps this is why you have gotten into this industry, but there are a few key words that I think are typically left out, which is cybersecurity is in a skill shortage gap because they need qualified and knowledgeable candidates. Now, I know this sounds kind of gatekeepy. So you see a job posting online, you submit an application, perhaps hundreds of other people submit applications and nothing happens. That job is never filled. Well, perhaps it's because employers haven't found a qualified candidate. This leads me into my next reason, which is unrealistic expectation and standards, especially among graduates and entry level candidates. So a lot of employers go through multiple rounds of interviews and perhaps that first round of interview is going to be filtering, which is, do you have a degree, certifications, experience? And so it proves to be harder for entry level candidates to get through maybe second and third round interviews if they can't even you know, have the minimum years of experience required uh, qualification. And ultimately, it comes down to just an unrealistic expectation among recruiters for candidates who perhaps don't possess that real world experience yet, the fundamentals or the lack of fundamentals. Uh, so for a lot of entry level candidates, they lack the fundamental context and really the domain knowledge of just IT in general. And it kind of comes down to that catch 22 of if you don't know what the technology is or how it works, how are you going to secure that thing, whatever that may be? So in interviews or interviewers may be able to see through that if you don't have a fundamental knowledge of IT and the security basics as well. And finally is just how expansive the IT industry is. It is a huge field. And it's hard to have domain expertise in all of those domains. I mean, you really ultimately can't. You learn something new every day in the job, and that's just IT in general, but it's really hard for entry-level candidates to come in and perhaps be assessed on something that they've never been exposed to or learned. And so I kind of revert back to the advice of, you know, focus on the fundamentals of IT and security basics. So what can you do if you are a candidate who is having a hard time getting an entry level position, or perhaps even just getting an interview. Well, I'm just gonna give the generic advice of, you have to be willing to think outside the box. So with the current market that we're in, not only are you competing against other people who are entry level candidates, but there are some other people who have experience in security. So you have to be willing to think outside the box and make yourself seem different or distinguish yourself. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this. So as an example, Perhaps you have a university degree, maybe in computer science, cybersecurity, or really anything. That's great, but you can't just rely on your cybersecurity degree to go get your job. You have to think about things that you're doing outside of the classroom. So that can be a lot of different things. Ultimately, I recommend that you do some of these. Maybe it's doing internships or pursuing a semester long co-op if you're still in university. Perhaps it's studying for a few certifications. Even better than that is if you start playing CTFs or building out your own cybersecurity home lab, and then perhaps you write a blog talking about your experience and what you're learning. Or even better, you could go out and join clubs, 
go to meetups, go to conferences, join Discord servers, really anything. And ultimately, you have to be willing to use multiple of these strategies to make yourself different. You know, so I would focus on maybe pursuing a certification, building some projects, and going out and, and meeting some new people. Now, this is all generic advice. Perhaps you've heard of this, but ultimately, I think for entry-level candidates, they have to be willing to show that they're willing to go at the extra mile to at least land some sort of position. And employers, especially the businesses that are really invested in their employees, are looking for people who are going to invest the time and the energy into creating a career that's successful. The cybersecurity entry-level market is certainly a dilemma, and it it is hard to navigate. I would be a hypocrite to say that I haven't done all of those strategies. Right now, I'm really struggling with meetups and just meeting people in general. I work from home, and I kind of just stay in my own silo, and I think that, you know, that's something that I can improve upon. And perhaps maybe there's something that you can too. And ultimately, you just have to be continuing to look at ways that you can improve yourself. So entry-level cybersecurity jobs, they're hard to land. And this video isn't to complain about the current state of industry. It is what it is. And I end the video with this. There's kind of two ways you can approach this. If you are a candidate who's struggling with this dilemma right now, you can continue your strategy of perhaps just applying online, I don't know, maybe just hoping that something comes up, or you adapt, you change your strategy, you continue to apply online, but maybe you go and do some projects, meet some new people, and if you stay persistent in that process, you may be able to find something that is opened. You have to be willing to take chances, and I need this advice as much as anyone else. So ultimately, the, the entry-level cybersecurity job market, it's a dilemma, it's hard to navigate, it can feel defeating, and you're not alone in that. But if you stay persistent in the process and you continue to adapt your strategy and learn, you will be able to find something eventually. It just takes time. The market is hard, but you can get something. All right, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully, you know, maybe this is encouraging. You're not alone in this journey. And uh, well, yeah, I guess just have a good day and keep applying, keep going.